Hey folks, I'm back on here with the uh, I think uh, I think this was gonna be part two of the first video I put out and the first one I know for sure I'm gonna be able to put up on uh, YouTube but this one this one here uh, I'm gonna put up on rumble it's still the same day. This is the 8th of October, uh, 2022, or 2023. And, uh, I just went out for a kind of an afternoon ride, really. Uh, been out for I don't know, a couple, two, three hours. Probably be four or five hours by the time I get done riding the day. Uh, as you can kind of tell right now, I'm riding into the sun a little bit. kind of been running around uh, Lake Warsaw some. Stopped at a couple of different camping areas. Took a break here and there. And just out, uh, really just out doing whatever I want. Uh, and uh, what I like to do on a motorcycle is just sometimes not really have a real plan because I didn't really have a plan today uh, you know a specific area I wanted to go to but you know, I think I've said before I live so close to uh, Lake Warsaw that uh, you know I'll find myself around the lake a lot of course this time of year uh, not a lot of people out on the lake and, and doing the camping thing and, Nah, some of the camping areas already closed down, I think, for the for the year. But for me, that's the best time to go and just scout out areas and uh, you know go out and have a good time. Don't run into a lot of people. And of course, the camping area is not full, so. I don't know what we're gonna talk about on this second part of this video. Uh, are we happy with everything? Do we see? Do we see what's taking place? strange and uh, crazy thing man and I guess you know most time I specifically talk about the United States I mean I do pay attention to the world uh, you know world situation so that kind of gives you an indication of what's going to happen you know in your country and we got a lot of A lot of things going on worldwide. And uh, it's really hard to figure out one day to the next uh, what's going to happen because really there are so many things going on and then you have the mainstream media mainstream media you know they're gonna put out their narrative and uh, uh, you know and they are bombarding it with their stuff and then there's a lot of other things taking place so you really have to go search other ways to find out what's really going on 
and I mean there, there truly is there's so much going on it is hard to keep track of what is taking place You know, today being the uh, 8th of October, uh, we know there's, you know, I've come out as of yesterday, early yesterday morning, you know, there's things taking place in Israel, and been some, well, I mean, I feel bad. We've had a lot of casualties, uh, already had a lot of deaths. And it doesn't sound good over there, so uh, my prayers and thoughts are with all of you. I let everybody over involved in it, huh? <clears throat> I mean, after a while, when all this stuff takes place, you know, I was a soldier. I went off and did what I was told to do. But as you get older, find out you know you might have not have had all the information and the real reason you know a lot of US soldiers got sent to places it wasn't really it wasn't really for a good reason you know and I mean I believe me I'm a patriot and I like being patriotic and you know when I was a soldier I I went and did my duty and I never tried to get out of it. You know, that's what I signed up for. And I mean, I was a young man, all motivated, and, you know, wanting to do what was right. But I was also inexperienced. And, you know, as you get older, of course you gain more experience. I don't believe in any of these wars no more. None of them. Been a lot of wars where we lost a lot of lives, young men and women, for reasons they shouldn't have been lost. Uh, you know, I'm just assuming they were just like me and signed up to do what they were told. And oh, man, I know that's what it is had good intentions and, uh, and meant well, but you now as you get older, boys, the United States sure has been involved in a lot of conflicts, you know. We've been all over this world. And sometimes I think we need to worry about our land, our homeland, you know, our country. Quit sticking our dirty hands in everybody else's business. And I don't know, it's been going on so long that I don't know if we'll ever change. I hope we do. I know you know, our 45th president, Donald J. Trump. You always hear him speaking against war and conflicts and, uh, right now, this country's out of control with spending and, uh, Sending military equipment all over the world, leaving military equipment behind that ends up in the hands of people that shouldn't, you know, acquire it or however they end up getting that equipment that's been left behind by the United States. Probably do it on purpose. Don't even realize it, you know. So. I don't know if uh, one man, well, I know one man can't fix what the problems are. There's no doubt about that. It's gonna take God's help. And I 
hope God has his hand on that that man and uh, and I hope he gets back into office and can uh, get something done this time but we'll have to wait see how all that works out they're scared of that man they are scared of him and they are doing everything they can to keep that man from being able to run as for president again and uh watch see how it all works out Well, I had a good day out on the V-Strom. I mean, I'm still a good ways from home, but uh, I'm heading back that way. Uh, I don't know, it'll take me an hour and a half or so to get back. So still got a lot of riding to do. I've really been... Uh, running into I don't know what to call it it just seems that uh, you know I, I really do enjoy going out and making videos and uh, I like having I like having a rumble channel but it just gets to be uh, a chore it seems like to make videos because you just see some of the things going on in the world and uh, and I don't know, I, I'm just one of them that uh, I can't keep from from talking about it, you know? I'm, I mean, I, man, I wish everything was good to go. And I could go out here and do some darn good motorcycle riding and, and do some camping videos. And uh, well, I really do enjoy doing those, those videos like that. I love going camping. And, Maybe getting to fish a little bit and, uh, you know, sitting around by the campfire like most people and really, really do enjoy that. And I love doing it by a motorcycle. I get to go and see some of the prettiest places, you know, on a motorcycle. But with what's going on in the world, I, I just cannot seem to shake trying to play the game that everything's okay you know because everything's not okay uh, you know everything's costing more boy food and, you know groceries man it's unreal how much that stuff's gone up and, you know Joe Biden's administration they'll tell you everything's okay you know, uh, more jobs have been, you know, they just reported saying that jobs increase, you know, more people were employed and all this. And I just don't know if I believe all that. I mean, I watch a couple guys, because I mean, I, I ain't nothing more than an old country boy uh, from the South. So I know when I don't, <laughs> you know have a good idea about something I know know how to go search it out and I li I listen to some economists uh, I listen to some real estate folks and you know some banker types and I'm just telling you they're all telling you to be wary to be aware of what's coming ahead you know suggesting people invest their money in the gold and silver and, you know enough just to hold on to so if something happened and the dollar collapsed that you would have something to fall back on you know and I mean I might would pay attention to some of that uh, like I said I'm just an old country boy and I mean I but I do know when it's time to go listen to somebody that knows knows something about that and uh, 
I'm not gonna pay attention to some of them. I meant uh, the crime rate in the United States has gone crazy. I mean, even a little old place like I live, man, it, the big city that's nearby. Uh, every other day there's another shoot and another murder. And I mean, you know, it's, it's a small city compared to, uh, you know, Chicago and New York, Boston and, you know, wherever, Philadelphia, all them places. It is actually getting to be dangerous in these cities and I feel I feel bad for the people that live in those places because you know some people get trapped in the you know have to stay they can't afford to move out you know they have no nobody to help them or you know point them in the right direction and that's all they know is the city and man I really feel that really feel that there's going to be some things happening in big cities. Man, I love being out here. That's why I like being a country boy, man. Check that out. Beautiful views. Like I said, it's the fall, but as you can see, most of our trees are still green. It's kind of been a little warm for this time of year. Got some hay bales out there on this side. But uh, that's, that's what I love. Being out here like this. No, I wasn't built to be living in the city, and uh, I'm glad I don't. But be cautious if you do. And uh, I'm gonna do what's necessary to protect yourself. I don't know, folks. I'm trying not to make this one too long. Uh, I don't want to bore y'all to death with a bunch of riding video. And I mean, I just talk about the things I talk about. Motorcycle riders, you're supposed to be standing up for freedom. And I know the game on YouTube. I know the game more, real well. But, uh, there's such a thing called patriotism to your country. And, of course, veterans and ex-military they all know that that's why they went in you know that's part of being a patriot but we need everybody to be a patriot you know everybody's on the good side now i know there's some bad folks we don't need them on our side but you know i would assume most of the people that are on youtube are motorcycle folks that we watch they got the big audiences I understand money's money but it's time everybody everybody starts to protect our country And you're gonna sooner or later you're all gonna have to figure that line out it's all coming to each one of us you're gonna have to make a decision and I hope you make the right one and uh, yeah I know it's uh, I know it's scary to walk away from something your for sure thing because I done done it. And, uh, yeah, it's spooky. But everybody has to have a sand, you know, a line in the sand. And stand up for that. And it's all going to come down to that. Every one of us will have to make a decision where we stand with the, where this country is going. And uh, I hope I hope more 
people start making that decision to stand up for the right things. Anyway, folks, I ain't trying to bore you to death. Um, it's things to think about. Because it's coming... It's coming fast and hard now. It's coming fast and hard. Uh, we do have a... We do basically have a... We do have a, uh, a countdown, kind of. Sorry, I had a little bit of glitch in my camera there. I'll probably have to add some of that out of there. But anyway, don't worry. Um, but we know that next election, that, that, can, be your, that can be your countdown right there. You can rest assured that there will be something. There's going to be a bunch of things that will take place to interfere in that election. Uh, you can rest assured. And how much are we willing to put up with? We're going to let them interfere in our election. American people have to make that decision. Anyway, I think I'll leave it at that, folks. This battery I got in here is about to, about to expire on me, so uh, I'm going to turn off the record before it decides to shut off on me and may not even realize it. Anyway, y'all take care of yourselves. I will be making some more videos. Uh, I just kind of pick and choose. This really it comes down to when I feel like I want to make one. Cause I've already told you what's been kind of bugging at me. So y'all take care of yourselves. Ride safe, and I'll catch y'all on the next video.